We're joined today by Kai San, COO of Trivarix. Kai, thanks for your time. Thanks for having me. Developing a screening tool for depression in sleep centres, why is this so important? Well, I mean, firstly, there's no depression screening done at all across sleep centres, both in the US and globally. Um, we know that 75% of people with depression have sleep disturbances as well, so um, very intricately linked. There's no screening done, we have the tool, we're agnostic, that's why we're trying to penetrate that market. And you've recently completed a phase two trial with the results out, and are you pleased with those results? Yeah, it's, uh, it's been a major milestone for the company. We're, we're very happy with the results. We conducted 400 patients across 15 sleep centres in the US, um, and we managed to improve our accuracy levels uh, by more than 16%. So after the back of phase one, we were screening at an accuracy of 71%. Um, we're now at 87%. Uh, we're above, significantly higher than the standard of care. Doctors are getting it one and two, one, rung one and two times. Um, and we're able to be completely agnostic to all sleep patients coming in in, in sleep centres. Do these results start to de-risk what you're doing? 100%. Um, we trained our algorithm off the back of phase one, uh, but we locked that algorithm for phase two. There haven't been any changes and we've seen that significant spike. So we know what we say works and it's just a matter of replication now for the pivotal trial um, to basically get this ticked off by the FDA. So where to from here? What should investors be focusing on in relation to the advancement of these technologies? Yeah, look, we, we've got a solution that's novel and proprietary. Um, no one else is doing what we're doing and in my opinion no one's really found that link for objective measurement of depression. Um, from here there's a lot of expansion opportunities. Of course we're going to continue down our clinical and regulatory pathway which we know is very clear and set. We've had a lot of positive engagements with the, with the FDA and we'll continue to do so. We're hoping to commence our pivotal trial and hopefully by this time next year we'll have a de novo submission um, to the FDA and of course we're going to now begin exploring other commercial opportunities into other indications and other accessible hardware as well. And importantly you've got a board and management team who've done it before. Yeah 100%. Um, we recently brought on Tony Keating um, and along with Chris Tuminolopoulos those guys founded and led ResApp to an exit with Fiverr of probably 180 million. Um, so they know the FDA process well, they know how to commercialise medtech and they know how to lead teams. So very excited to have them on board. Exciting times for Trivarix and its shareholders, Kai. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Cheers.